Uh, hey guys, I have a weird question coming out of the panhandle of Florida. So to pull the curtain back, my boyfriend and I have started a tradition of granting each other a quote fantasy on each other's birthdays that happens in the bedroom. This is the first time we're doing this and he requested to have a Waffle House chocolate waffle in his mouth while finishing. Is it just weird or degrading or should I just be happy? It isn't weirder. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think I even read this on the rundown. So I'm like hearing this for the first time. I love this. I think this is totally, I like I, one of one reason I really like this question is because like like a lot of dating questions go through the pipeline here. I have never seen something like this come through the pipeline. I think one of my favorite things about this question is that it's not just any waffle. It's a it's a waffle house waffle. Like it has it's so specific. It has to come straight from the restaurant or, or else it's not gonna do it for them. Um I, I wanna this is just it's almost it's yeah, almost it's so chocolate. unbelievable. I'd, do what? It's a chocolate waffle. Too. A, ch a chocolate waffle too. Not yeah. directly on the chocolate one. Sorry, continue. I, I don't even know what to make of this. I know there's some weird fetishes out there. Um, so in the the realm of you know weird fantasies, this this is probably not even one of the weirder ones, but it's definitely one of the funnier ones and, and obscure. Like, why why is that? What does it for this guy? He's like, oh, if I could just add this one element to our sex, it would be oh, take it over the top, and it's a waffle, a chocolate waffle house waffle. It's just it's just absolutely ridiculous. I think it, I think they've just reached the point where like he's doing a bit, like he's just trying to see what he can get away with in this thing. I don't yeah. think this this doesn't actually turn him on. He just is trying to see what he can get away with in this relationship, and I think it's hilarious. I also think that this couple sounds really fun, and they'd be fun yeah. to have it dinner as like the grease guys. Yeah, I I love this move from them. I think this is a great way to like keep the relationship spicy, and i also i'm never gonna judge somebody for what they do in the privacy of their own home but i kind of love that she like shared it and was like should i be worried like i definitely think there are weirder things or something oh, that yeah. he like you know at least he's not like being like let's have a threesome you're just totally not into it you know but you also take on like when you're in a relationship with somebody and you reach this level of like comfort and vulnerability with each other that you like you can't judge them for saying what their fantasy is so oh if, yeah if this guy's doing a bit he's doing a bit but if he's not like he really does get off like with chocolate waffles then like that's his thing you have to accept him for what he is and fulfill it i also i also love how he just wants it in his mouth while he's finishing so like he, he he can like he knows it's about time and he's just like scrambling like reaching over to the nightstand for the waffle and throws it in his mouth. Oh, unbelievable! It's time I, for the waffle. I'd like love <laughs> this waffle time. Question. What a nice delight of a question. Is I this, totally agree. I think this couple would be hilarious to hang out with. Is this waffle like cooked? Like is, I mean, is it like? Well, it's not is, just batter. I know, but is it warm? I don't know. I mean, I, it, probably not. Put a toaster next to the bed and just hope for the. I mean, they gotta bring it. They gotta bring it home from Waffle House and they gotta heat it up. You know, it, you know it's just gonna sit there on the nice stand. It's gonna, it's gonna get cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of. I, I don't know if this is creepy of me, but I kind of want to know like what other things I've done in the past to see how weird this actually is. Right. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, they have great communication. They, for him, he's comfortable enough to bring this up. Like that's great. Good for you. Yeah. He's not just like getting a cheerleading costume and let's you know like. Yeah, Do you that, think that's the lazy one. Boys? Did he consult his boys about this? I don't know. It's hard to say. Truly. Is it weird that now I want to eat a waffle after reading this <laughs> question? Like, I, I think this question's just reminded me that waffles low key go. Like, I wish we had a waffle iron in our house right now. Like, I Dave would, has one. Waffle waffles are delicious. I think I'm more of a waffle person over pancakes. Actually, I'm a pancake guy. Because waffles just have like I'm a waffle guy. Crispy. Edges. Yeah, when you were when I was little, all I wanted like heaven on earth when I was little was having a bite of waffle that had butter flush with the grooves of the waffle, uh -huh. and just having that one bite just smothered in butter and maple syrup and just putting it in my mouth. How did you awesome. eat waffles as a kid, Dylan? <laughs> um, I, just just with basic syrup. I didn't even do butter. I was just a syrup syrup kid. Plain waffle did. with syrup, and it was perfect. I think I did something really weird. I'm realizing now. We would do the same thing, butter uh, in the waffle, and I wouldn't want butter up to each groove, but like probably like halfway filling the wells, and then we would just sprinkle regular sugar all over it, so it like coated the butter. Oh my gosh. We do that with they powdered were sugar. Freaking delight. That's a lot of sugar. 
You would do that with powdered sugar on top of God, it. God, now I want an ego so bad. Every square has got to have syrup in it, though. Agree. Well. Agree. Yeah. What kind of so, do you guys have any preference on pancakes? What do you mean? Like flavors? Uh, yeah. I mean, have you ever had like silver dollar pancakes, like the smaller ones? Yeah. Like I love those. Yeah, those are great. I didn't know how good those were until somebody said, like, dude, you got to try these. My dad always made us pancakes when we were kids that would be like in the shape of like the letters of our name or a longhorn or Mickey Mouse or whatever. He was really good at it. My mind is always blown by the people that do pancake art. Oh, well, like with like squeeze bottles yes. that like actually do like, yeah. like I thought it was like cool as shit that my dad could like make a longhorn. But like pancake art where people are like, drawing stuff. I'm like, what's happening right now? Weren't they doing that at Fan Fest when we went to that Premier League Fan Fest, like making soccer players and stuff? Yeah. yeah. And it was amazing. They did one of, uh, I, I have a picture on my Instagram at Will DeFreeze. And uh, it's of uh, one of my favorite <laughs> podcast soccer hosts. And he, uh, yeah, they did some they did some pancake art. And I remember looking at it just being like, this is mind blowing that they can make this look exactly like this human right here. But you do it all kind of blind because you're doing it upside down. I just, my brain doesn't comprehend how people do it. Okay. How do you get into that? How are you like, all right, I'm going to get into waffle. No idea. Like, how do you get into pumpkin carving? I yeah. don't know. Quick yeah, question. My, yeah. Uh, waffles, pancakes, or crepes? Are you doing a waffle. stand mute cancel here? Yeah, we're doing a stand mute cancel. Um, I'm going to stand waffles. I'm going to mute pancakes. And I'm going to cancel crepes. Wow. Canceling crepes. Have you ever had an Nutella crepe? To be fair, it's been a minute since I've had a crepe. So when I went to, when I went to Europe in high school, so good. I went to Europe in high school on a class trip, and all I ate the entire time, uh, every day for lunch, I would have a, a Nutella crepe. They're so freaking good. Nutella doesn't do much for me. It's but too, like any it's crepe, too sweet. It's just like a thin pancake with folded up and with shit in it. It's so good. I know. I know what it is. Oh, delightful. my! Uh, my stepdad makes pecan pancakes. Oh, I love really pecan good. pancakes. They're so good. Yeah. Is that like a Texas thing, you think? Yep. I've never even heard of this. Oh, it's just like really? a of blueberries or bananas. You just put pecans in. Makes sense. When we get you out at the ranch, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in a, a rocky world. They're well, awesome. I'll eat, I'll eat anything he puts in front of me at the ranch. Yeah, that dude can cook, I man. You can come. Let's do it. Okay. Post-quarantine ranch trip. <laughs>